Hey party people! I'm starting a new video for all the books that I've bought this month and so far today is March 9th and it is the first time doing some type of unboxing or purchasing of a book this entire month because I actually have not even finished the series that I talked about last video. I have the third book right here. Here's because the third book was not at any Barnes & Noble near me. So. Escaping from Houdini. Oh no. No, there's an ugly sticker on it. That's not a sticker. I'm about to go on my Disney trip. I'm literally packing right now. I leave tomorrow morning. I'm going to Disney with my dance team for my school. That means I need a book to read while I'm on vacation. I'll see you in the next one when I get more books or a book. Hopefully it'll be a Barnes & Noble haul. I really want to go to Barnes & Noble. I miss it, but I need to finish this series. But I've had no time to read, so I'm like kind of in a slump. I know. Hello, and welcome to the second installment of me getting books in the month of March. Yay! I got Starbucks. I have not gone a pink drink in so long. But we had our Starbucks stop, and then we're about to go to Barnes & Noble. Yay, a little Barnes & Noble haul. I don't know exactly what I want yet from there, so that's a little stressful, but it's okay because I have a good idea. There are like at least three books that I'm looking at that I might get. Like, I haven't gone book shopping in like three weeks. That's a long time. Okay, let's do a little haul. So I got three books today. I'm very excited because I, they sound good. And for the first time I went into Barnes and Noble and I picked up a book that I didn't like find a recommendation for. Like I didn't like, I don't know. I'm just, let's, let me show you. So the first thing I got was a duology that I planned to get um, is the All the Stars and Teeth and All the Tides of Fate duology. I heard that's enemies to lovers. I heard that it's, I heard there's a knife to throat scene but it's like fantasy i think it's like pirates mermaids i don't know it sounds like a lot there's a princess sounds like pretty basic fantasy i've also heard that there's a really really good world building because like a lot of people say that they can't get into fantasy because the world building's too much for their heads i've not really had that issue because i just kind of like avoid the world building but that's like that's separate that's totally different and then i got flame in the mist which had I've never heard of this book book before. I literally just saw it and it was it's by Renee and I don't know how to say her last name. So I'm just going to call her Renee. Sorry, we're on a first name basis, girl. I love you. She wrote The Wrath and the Dawn, The Rose and the Dagger, which is like one of my favorite fantasy duo well, yeah, it is fantasy. Fantasy duologies like it's one of my favorite duologies like literally ever. It's so good. I read it in like 3 days, which is like really good for me. So I literally just could not put it down. I loved those books. So, when I saw this, I thought it was like a third book or like a continuation or like a a spin-off of that duology and it's a completely separate series on its own it's a different duology and they only have the first book if they had the second book i would have gotten it but they only have the first book and then the second book um i did find on amazon but it sounds good it sounds like it's about this one girl who like goes undercover as a guy into this one clan who tried to kill her and she's going into their clan to get up in the ranks and like get revenge but then while she's going up in the ranks she finally finds purpose and love apparently so like i don't know i'm really excited those are the books i got and i'll see you in the next one hopefully it's soon i hope i get more books soon hopefully hey party people guess what i have my last installment of this video was like over a week ago when i bought three books i've read two of them so far i'm going to start the third book that i got tonight and that book is part of a duology and they did not have that second book at the Barnes & Noble. So I ordered it on Amazon because that's the only place that had it. I'm really petrified that I'm going to like cut the book. It looks so pretty. Oh my God, and it's not banged up. Praise God. Literally, isn't that so gorgeous? I'm not gonna read the back because I haven't even read the first book so I don't wanna spoil anything for myself and I've spoiled books so many times that way. But this is like literally one of my favorite authors. So I'm gonna give this duology a try. 
oh i'm so excited mg i have no idea what i look like right now because the sun's like glaring at my screen obviously obviously i don't know if y'all can see it but i just watched this clip back and my hair is like this like the entire time and it bothers me so much i am so sorry it is sunday march 27th i think yeah march 27th i got myself a cold brew let's see how it is oh it's so good oh they made it so good today and then i got a pumpkin loaf oh i'm going to barnes and noble today sorry i probably should have mentioned that i'm going to get these two fantasy books they're both standalones and so i think i'm going to get those two yesterday i cleaned up my car like really nice really beautiful right right and cleaning out my car i got rid of all of my masks all of my masks and i do keep spare masks in my car but usually only emma needs them because i never forget my mask and i always have some left over like if i've used one once i'll probably just use it again the ones in my glove box are usually for emma and i call them my masks of shame and guess who forgot a mask and needed to go into starbucks and pick up her order and needed to use a mask of shame me and do you know why they're called the masks of shame because they have this little imprint on them that says made in the usa that's so gross and weird and disturbing and now i have to go to barnes and noble like that too ah! oh my god it's my dream car but that's not why i'm screaming i am screaming because i just got a book i've been searching for for so long and i was going to order it online and i plan to do a big bulk barnes and noble order online for the spring for my summer reading but i keep pushing it back and i sorry i keep pushing it back and i keep just forgetting about it like i'll do it later i'll do it later i'll do it later you know that one i don't think it's a tiktok sound but it's from a spongebob episode and it's plankton and he's like I've been looking for you all day long. I'll, if I find it, I'll, I'll insert it. Finally! I've been trying to catch you boys all day! But that's how I feel with this book. I've been looking for this book high and low. Not really. It's just every time I go into Barnes & Noble, I see if it's there and it's not. See if it's there and it's not. Barnes & Noble app says it's there. It's not. We got three books. We got Sky in the Deep. And then the next one, I promised myself I would I would never get to kill a kingdom. But then I saw a TikTok last night, like about the couple, and like, and then I like really read the synopsis and like, oh my god, they're like enemies, I think. Like enemies. I will I told myself I would never get it because it's a little mermaid retelling and I hate retellings, but I'm currently reading a Mulan retelling, so. And I didn't even realize that I picked it up just thinking it was like another story, but it ended up being a Mulan retelling. And so far, it is so good. So I'm giving it a chance. And then the book I've been searching high and low for is The Love Hypothesis. I've been looking for this book everywhere. Finally! I've been trying to catch you boys all day! And I finally found you. Finally found you. Today is the best day of my life. This was a very successful trip. Like... That's my book haul. Exciting! It is actually the best day ever. I got the package of a lifetime. I ordered it off of Amazon because they literally don't even sell it at Barnes & Noble. Like I literally can't even get it Barnes & Noble online. Like not even there. Oh my God, it's, this is like not environmentally friendly. The mountain is you. So this book is by Brianna West. I don't want to mess it up. I'm starting a new thing where each month I read one self-help book or one non-fiction book, period. I could read a book about money management. I should, I could read a book about like an interesting topic, historical, non-fiction, like just anything. This is the beginning of my reading one non-fiction book a month, but I bought this basically because of Steph Four because she read it and I love her, so... Yeah, this is my book for April. That's going to be nonfiction. Oh yeah, and that concludes this video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. There will be lots of book buying in the future.